Oh, it was inundated, inundated, uh, right through to mid-September. Jason Lloyd can barely keep up with the cancellations flooding his inbox. For us right now, now it's almost like the entire season is broken off. His family poured their hearts into building up their summer tiki boat tours on Okanagan Lake. 80% of his revenue comes during the summer. It's saving mode right now, and I'm already thinking in my head what I have to start cutting back on to get us through this winter uh, to the following season. It's a survival mode, really. But first, his family has to get through evacuations. Seven of them are in a single hotel room after leaving their home in West Kelowna's Rose Valley. It is deja vu. Eight years ago, the Lloyds were evacuated from Fort McMurray. What would help offset some of the stress, he says, is some emergency funding. We want to make sure we're not forgotten here. And we employ local people as well. Um, not on the grand scale, it's one of the large operators, but I mean, we have a team of 12 people that rely on us for an income as well. An hour and a half south of Kelowna in Coston, there's no sign of evacuations from fires, only frustration at this now empty organic farm. So here I have all this property tax, $30,000 that I pay, and we only make our money in July and August. So our guest suites, our restaurant is empty and we have to close down. I'm actually just writing out paychecks right now as I lay people off because I have no one to, to come. Klippenstein says they're still recovering from COVID closures and tens of thousands of dollars worth of pandemic loans are due this year. It's been four years of, of struggle. The premier has said they're still assessing losses from the wildfires. Kelowna's mayor says he will be asking the province for tourism funding. But for now, the focus is getting through the firefight. Leanne Young, CBC News, Vancouver.